Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, what does it mean to be salt? What does it mean to be light or a city built on a mountain? Today's readings remind us that as baptized Christians, we can't hide. God, who is God of justice and mercy, had expectations of Israel. The Israelites weren't off the hook regarding how they were to act, and neither are the followers of Jesus. God has expectations of us. People see us, they observe what we do and how we act. What are they seeing? We can't be followers in name only. Lord Jesus, you called us to be salt of the earth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to be light of the world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to be a city set on a mountain. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, share your bread with the hungry, shelter the oppressed and the homeless, clothe the naked when you see them, and do not turn your back on your own. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn, and your wound shall quickly be healed. Your vindication shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help and he will say, here I am. If you remove from your midst oppression, false accusation and malicious speech, if you bestow your bread on the hungry and satisfy the afflicted, Then light shall rise for you in the darkness, and the gloom shall become for you like midday. 
the word of the Lord. Just man is a light in darkness to the upright. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. A light rises in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lands, who conducts his affairs with justice. The just man is a light in darkness to the upright. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, proclaiming the mystery of God, I did not come with solemnity of words or of wisdom, for I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. I came to you in weakness and fear and much trembling, and my message and my proclamation were not with persuasive words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of spirit and power, so that your faith might rest not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, you are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. If you are the light of the world, A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus chooses his words carefully, including the ones we just listened to. They are a part of his famous Sermon on the Mount, which is almost like a highlight film of all of his sermons. In this selection, he is explaining to his followers what he expects of them. He's almost like a coach talking to his players right before a big game. And Jesus, he's talking to them about the game of life itself. Another way to look at this is maybe he's like a general uh, instructing his troops before a big fight. But in the case of Jesus, we're talking about the life of faith. In a way, Jesus, he's giving us a mission statement. And what is this mission? To be salt and light for the world around us. But Jesus, what does that mean? Well, salt, it had two functions in the ancient world. It gave flavor to food, but it was also the means in which they were able to preserve it. They didn't have refrigerators back then, so they would preserve their meats by putting a a layer of salt over it. Light has the same function as it does now, basically to push away the darkness. 
But in the ancient world, before the advent of electricity, darkness, it was a much more dramatic reality than it is to us. The ancients, they understood how helpless they were without a lamp. We, on the other hand, because of electric lightings and television and things like this, we rarely have to think about a light source. So salt and light, these are the comparisons that Jesus uses to explain our life's mission. And what is the common characteristics of salt and light? They are both for something else. Their purpose is not self-centered, but rather other-centered. And that's the point of our gospel passage today. A Christian's mission in this world is just like Christ's mission. It's to make a positive difference for others by bringing them the power and the illumination of the gospel. During this Mass, as Christ renews his commitment to us, let us renew our commitment to him and asking him to help us shine like lights in this dark world and promising to do whatever we can to keep that light of faith burning brightly. We make known our needs to God, that we might be faithful disciples who are salt of the earth and light for the world that all members of the church always be a light shining forth, leading others, <clears throat> others out of darkness into the light, who is Christ. We pray to the Lord. <clears throat> Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> that all peoples of the world may see the light of salvation and taste the goodness of God. We pray to the Lord. <clears throat> Lord, hear our prayer. That those caught in the distress of darkness and alienation be led by our good deeds to the light of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us here seeks Christ as the salt and light who sustains our faithful discipleship, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Living God, you sustain our life by the presence of your divine Son. Hear our prayers that we might be faithful disciples and come to share your eternal glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May 
O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fonts of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I will choose Christ I will choose love, I choose to serve. I give my heart, I give my life, I give my all to you. How many times must he call my name and show to me? servant he calls to me you must serve too I will choose Christ I will choose love I choose to serve I give my heart I give my life I give
O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who are poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, make us poor in spirit. Bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world. May our light shine before all, that they may see. Today, uh, I'm certainly sure you appreciate the celebration of Mass and how much it means to you and means to so many in the community to be the heart of a worshiping community, to give praise to Christ. And so I ask you, uh, in your goodness, to continue your support and generous support of our television ministry here in the Diocese of Las Vegas. And may God bless you for your generosity.